Hello kings, queens, nerds, and geeks. Powder Milk here, and welcome back to Dream Daddy! Now guys, today I forgot to put on pants, but who cares? Uh, let me cover up my legs with my blanket, since I'm, I'm actually feeling like a giraffe from the fan. Okay. Okay. Yeah, anyway guys, where we left off, we had a pretty awesome time. Um... <laughs> I can't wait to actually continue this game. It's been a while, but I just really want to play. And this game just intrigues me. Also, I got Kool-Aid so I can soften my throat oh, from all the hurting and talking and all that. This game is all dialogue. I guess that's what dating simulators are about. Although there's that awesome like mini games you get sometimes, but regardless, let's get on to Dream Daddy. Or a dad book now. Welcome. You've got dads. Now, uh, who haven't I dated yet? Craig and Brian. Those are the two I haven't dated yet. In fact, I've dated everyone else at least once. And Robert I've done twice. And uh, so I had to do a flip a coin with Greg and Brian. Craig and Brian. If I could find a coin. Oh boy. This is awkward. This is awkward. Hold on. No, I'm gonna do my phone on the mattress, okay? And... Screen Craig, Brian back. Screen it is! I said it's Craig it is, so... Sweet as shit. Dad of three, business uh, entrepreneur, fitness enthusiast, ugling work, family, and fitness is a tough gig, but someone's gotta do it. On Friday night, you are m uh, Likely to do get one last good cardio session in. Okay, this guy is a bit of an overachiever. Okay, you had one thing to take with you into a desert island. What would you be? A box of emergency bar energy bars. What are your turn ons? A sub 16 mile? A sub six minute mile? A sub six minute mile. I'm trying to interpret what that means by turn on. Am I- is he saying that he likes it hard and fast? That's what I'm gonna assume. Cause the six minute mile's hard and I know. I have to run all the time. So, like tomorrow we're running, for example. Um, what did you want to be when you grew up? Beer Paw on World Champion? What is your favorite movie genre? Buddy- Buddy Cop Movies Forever. Uh, what- What's your ideal date? Scaling a huge, dangerous mountain for fun. God, this guy is- this is like, extra. What's your- Wait, what do you ever leave home without? An extra tube of energy gel. You could have put lube, and that would have been, like, clustering Robert over there. I spent a lot of time thinking about my mile time used to be sound good. What happened? Have- have I peaked? Okay, Craig. Craig Kahn, that's his name. I think that's how it's spelled. It's, it's, it's pronounced. Greg Kahn, that's how I'm gonna say it. Let's go on to him. And plus, this guy's an old friend, so... This is gonna be interesting. Good friends in college, butt buddies in the... in... in later life. And I, I don't mean to sound... sound, um... offensive, it's just... I grew up in a weird household. And I say offensive things sometimes, so don't judge me based on that. It's just, it's just, it's just my dark sense of humor. Always carry a pocket knife. Uh, I have one right here somewhere. I'm gonna look at memes while I wait for these loading screens. Oh, here we are. Okay. Enough memes for now. Okay. I wonder what Craig's up to today. Uh, maybe Cra I never get to Craig's dad for page and type out a message. Hey, bro. You should. Should I say neighbor? Let's um. Uh, catch up like old times. Complete moments pass before I hear a ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Bro! I'm gonna do it like that. Bro, my man, let's definitely hang out soon. Might be be a little different from um, our old week and long benders, but it'll still be fun. I think for a moment it could be fun, an opportunity to see an old buddy in his new element. We exchange a couple more messages, and we, he logs off for prep, uh, up for the game. 
I just see Amanda who wants to join me. I walk over to Amanda and knock on the door. Yo, Amanda Panda! Yeah, Amanda Panda! That's what I'm talking about. I open the door and find Amanda sitting cross leg on the floor. Surrounded by magazines, newspaper clippings, and she seems to be making some sort of art piece. What you working on? Oh. Oh. Just a collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece, piece that represents our goals for the future. I look closer to the, her collage. That's a lot of dogs. Huh. Huh. It's mostly dogs, yeah. Do you need something? Craig's invited us to a softball game. Wanna go? Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you bought all the gear and then when you took me to the first game and someone hit hit a ball towards me and I just ran off the field crying? And then you hid in a dugout and would scream if you tried to pick you up. Yes. I was afraid of baseballs. I thought it was I thought they were gigantic. <laughs> Sentient softball. So does that mean you don't want to go? Mana gets up and looks at me dead in the eye, determined. I'm finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's do this. Well then. Man and I make a short dive out of the local softball field for a kid's softball game. It's pretty packed. We clamber er, up in the bleachers and take our seats at the top, top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. I want to... So when do the kids start crying and running in the running off the field? Really? Really, Amanda? Really? You gotta be that way? Quit being such a buzzkill. GROW THE FUCK UP! <laughs> okay, I'm getting weird again. You know when your relationship with softball, it is different from when everyone else relationship with softball, right? <laughs> okay, but if I don't see kids cry, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed. For nostalgia purposes, of course, not because I, I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. Uh, uh. Definitely not that. And there's Craig with the baby on his chest. I swear that baby looks fucking adorable. <laughs> oh god, guys, I can't wait to have my own baby. Oh god, oh god, and it's gonna grow up to be a teen. Fuck. I know how my sister was, and I know how I was. Oh god. If my son, if I have a son and is he anything like me, I will kill him. Mother of God. The game starts the and the kids run out of the field and I see Craig by uh, the dugout with the clipboard. He he has River strapped to his chest as per usual. There's a guy in a pa pancake costume uh, doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's the mascot. Why is it a pancake? Why is it a pancake? Of all things, why a pancake? Why not be a waffle at least? <gasps> do you like waffles? Yeah, we like waffles. Do you like pancakes? Yeah, we like pancakes. <laughs> anyway, uh, reading the kid, it's brightly colored jerseys. I see the maple ba a flap shacks against the and uh, 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 ocelots. Go flapjacks! <laughs> flapjacks! Oh, oh. Chokes up, choke, choke up on the bat. Uh, Miranda? Yes, Miranda, square up! How much do you know about softball? You have to know that the balls are relatively hard despite their name. Mm -hmm. But yelling is fun. <laughs> Give me a shot. It's a. Um, cath what? Catharic? What? What's important is everyone? What are you willing to sacrifice to win? And also, keep your eye on the ball! Watch a couple of innings on the softball. They aren't ready for the major leagues yet. <laughs> we were watching a couple of in innings of the softball. They aren't ready for the major leagues yet, but Craig's trained his team pretty well. It seems that he's re really good with kids. Cake Stan Craig is good with children. Whoa. Oh. I forgot that was his nickname. It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball. How do how no one has run off the field crying yet? Amanda, dear. You have to let it go. Hmm. Uh, let it go, let it go. That's what that's what Powder's saying. But Amanda's like, "Fuck you, fuck you." <laughs> let what go? I'm perfectly fine. She, you're in denial. You're in denial. The opposing team is up to bat, and they hit the fly ball out of the center field. And the little oh no, a little girl tries to get under the ball. But it misses her glove and hit, hits her straight in the forehead. Oh, ow, ow, ow! 
Oh god, I know how much that hurts. I got it in the back of my neck once. God damn. Whoa. Whoa. See, it's completely justifiable fear. The girl plops on the grass, starts crying. Craig makes a be beeline to her, checking her forehead, comfort comforting her until her parents arrive, and carries her off to the field as she sobs. Man, the strange to think of how, how this was the guy who once backflipped off, off a roof into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's also responsible now. <laughs> the game aim resumes a after the girl claims calms down, but a bit if we can catch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The Ocelots seem to have got given up by this point, and they see the outfielder eating the fistful of grass. How old are these kids? The batter on the other team now knocks a foul ball all into the stands. I follow the trajectory and... Oh no, it's coming right at me. Oh no, oh no, 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 oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I close my eyes and brace for impact. I open my eyes and look up to see Amanda holding the softball, staring in amazement. I caught the ball! You saved me. I caught the ball, Dad, I caught the ball! You did it, Amanda. I faced my fear. I defeated the softball. I can do anything! I'm just imagining her just going Super Saiyan right now. Amanda, Amanda and I share a big hug and a tender moment I don't, don't think anyone else watching really understood. I'm proud of you, kiddo. The game ends and Craig's team has declared the victors. We sit patiently as the girl lines up to shake hands. Great job, everyone. He's the soccer dad. That's what he is. He's the official soccer dad. In this case, softball dad. Um, we all uh, walk over to the dugout and co uh, congratulate Craig, who's t taking the thing, talking with some parent with the parents. Craig, great work, man. Thanks. We've been working hard all season. It's great to see you uh, paying off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, we ha we have to met have met Blair and Hazel. Yes, we have. Hey, kill her playing out there. Uh, hey, you got as rule. Thank you. Uh, you guys are twins, huh? So which one of you is the evil one? Hazel. Yeah, that's me. Uh, uh. Wow, Alexis is just like admitting that. You can tell too on their faces. But watch. Here's this though. Mean faces doesn't mean evil. Mean faces means you're a nice person who's tired of getting screwed over. And a smile could mean something devious. Fair warning, guys. I'm gonna make it a little easy there. <laughs> a good, good looking out. Oh. Oh. Do you guys ever pretend to uh, pretend to be each other? I don't have, I have a twin, but I think I, I, I did. I'd be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take all, all her math test, uh, and I usually throw rocks at, and stuff when pe people get mad at me. Get mad. I t oh, them on Blair. <laughs> what? Nice, nice. We will talk about this later. Powdered bro, I just go oh, a couple more for, for things to clean up, then we can hang. Sounds good. Just then, one of the moms jumps to the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate in our win, Craig. Craig, I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. Oh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. All sorts of celebration could, uh, uh, <laughs> could have <clears throat> could we have without our fearless leader. She lays her hand on the sh on his shoulder and gives him a him goo goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. Man and I share a look. All right, okay, it is obvious that Craig's not into her. He's into him. He's into me in this case. Which, by the way, nice hair. Which is kind of reminds me of Markiplier's hair. I'm kind of envious of that hair too. God, I wish I had that hair. In the same color, of course. I like my red hair. I just wish I had that hairstyle. If I could keep that hairstyle. Ugh. But I'm in the army, so I can't keep hairstyles like that. Anyway. Alright, alright. It's cool if I, if my bro comes along. Mom, my, the mom looks slightly out of the covers. Up, uh, covers it up with a smile. Of course. Where are we going? Thir thirsty pizza? Thursday's pizza? What? What? It's a real place. An endless stream of girl owls and the softball gear. Thirsty's Pizza. I, I, I'm getting over the name right now. Uh, pe uh, gear pile out of the minivan into a local pizza buffet, which actually called Thirsty's Pizza. 
Uh, man in an IA trail behind the team, Greg. This place is literally reminding me of Peter Piper Pizza in Arizona. Which, by the way, guys, I am not joking. My family is so weird, we decided to have the reception dinner at Pizza Hut. At Pizza... <laughs> no, not the reception. The, um... After my wedding, not after at the reception, after my wedding, after I got, the day I got married, the reception was on a different day, but when I got married, we all went to Peter Piper Pizza and played arcade games. I was sitting there in my full ACU uniform, sorry, not ACU, ASU uniform, my wife in her wedding dress, and we're playing fucking arcade games and eating pizza. I'll be honest, it was kind of cool, but the pizza was better from the last time I've had it. Reminds me of all the awful pizza we put. Uh, my, reminds me of all the pe awful pizza we put in our bodies back in the day. <laughs> I remember how we used to uh, hold whole uh, pizza pies in half and then put a taco filling inside. Ah, pizzaco, pizza, pizzacos, pizzacos. I'm trying to pronounce it. Pizzacos. I could never forget. How did we survive college? Our bodies are younger back then, more elastic, more able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. The good old days. Kids run around playing arcade games and eating cheap, greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple slices of mediocre pizza. Uh, hey, give me a piece of that. Pizza that. No, absolutely not. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. here. Thanks for, uh, ad addressing this I the issue, Amanda. Dad! A different mom um, walks up to us, talking to Greg if we did- If you weren't earned even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day how, how great you are. Oh, I'm happy hey, to look out, out after the team. Definitely helps that I give kids of my own. It seems to oh, hard, hard since Daniel left. It's been hard since da Daniel left. Ah, Danielle. Ah, I can't pronounce this. It's been so hard since da Danielle left. I'm, gl I'm glad you. To, uh, I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their their lives. Amanda and I look at each other again. Craig gets it, it all from all angles, huh? Craig smiles sheepishly. Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist for, up for a fist bump, and then the mo uh, from the mom in what I think is a maneuver of lightning in the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. Uncom I, I should throw him a bone here. Tag team with Amanda? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna save right here. If I'm gonna save right here, and if I pick the wrong answer, this is gonna end badly. Tag team with Amanda. And look, and she hits me back with the nod. She understands. Manana puts her hand on her stomach and looks like a puppy dog eyes. <sighs> Dad, I don't feel so good. I I think I ate too much pizza. Oh no, sweetie, you're not gonna uh, projectile vomit everywhere, are you? <sighs> yeah, I think I'm going to projectile vomit everywhere right now. The word projectile vomit and right now usually is in to be get a Get everyone to clear up, but Martha is not budging. <laughs> Back up, Martha. If you're in a splash zone, I think I, I drink that orange juice. It's morning, and I feel pretty acidic. You'll be fi fine. And it shoots a worried look. And co could have known um, um, that mom of all people would know the fake puke scam. Huh. Well, I guess it went away. I'll I know. Nothing's wrong. She runs up back to me and talks to Greg. So, I take his own Blair to- Yep, they're pretty uh, excited about it. You'll see either of them they're out of trouble, right? Oh, of course. I bet I could always use help watching Aang after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Wow, this lady's really going for the gold. Huh, it's actually nice to ha have a night to myself in River. But thanks for the invite. Oh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into her coin in the coin slot. Okay, first off, let's try something else. We're gonna lo let's gonna load this. We're gonna load this exact scene. How about create a diversion? I pull up the first thing that comes to my mind. Whoa, what? 
Who watched a uh, log haul paranormal ice uh, uh, ghost truckers last night? What? Calcum and the Flint and Dogbone visited the truck stop and also the a cemetery and le at an exorcism of ghosts that was haunting a do hot dog grill. I know you made it for support. What? There's a demon hunting one under the. I like how they're making fun of Supernatural right now. I just suddenly realized this. Uh, anyway, also a uh, demon hunting one of the bathroom stalls and I kept throwing poop at all the wall. Pretty scary stuff. Actually, now that I think of it, there's a good chance that there's a non-paranormal explanation for that. But still, all the television, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen it e that either. Whoa, that was so much of a common. Damn. Okay, let's try this again. God, she's really persistent. I gotta get rid of her. Hmm. Let's try this again. Uh, smokescreen Martha. Right, there's a, a wing in my wingman days. I gotta run on the block blocking play. So, oh, Mar Martha, I must get lonely with Daniel. You know, I also ha happen to be an eligible single father. I waggle, uh, I waggle my eyebrows there. Pass. I remember that at working better in the past. The tur turns are back in <laughs> to me to talk to Craig. So I'm t taking Hazel and Blair tonight for the sleepover. Uh. You know what? I'm gonna load back and do the tag team with the. Uh, I'm gonna load back and do the tag team, because that's apparently the best outcome. Uh, tag team with Amanda. Just skip it. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> Man, Amanda is really persistent. Ah. Uh, uh. Oh. Like there was no way to win with that. Like hmm. towards her daughter, Tiffany. Not another arcade machine. I swear, if you have to buy it. Martha storms off and towards her kid. She seems nice. Yeah, this team, the team is one big weird family. Thanks to, takes all all sorts, right? Definitely don't eat eat the tokens. Definitely oh, oh. <laughs> Stellar's. Uh, Tiffany's a stellar hit, hitter. Pew! I finally think I ha have time to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Only the on day is like today. I hope. Dad, hmm. Blair and Hazel. Hey, go hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record at DDR? Ah, oh, Dance Dance Revolution! Oh God, I always like watching my brother play that game. He was so coordinated with it. DDR. Down, down, right. DDR. <laughs> anyway, we told uh, uh, Aria's dad that you could uh, destroy him with a dance mat. Please help, uh, uh, girls. You know I don't have it. My jukes anymore, but Dad. Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. Sorry, know. dudes. Duty calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good, buddy. Craig runs off to it. My daughter's and I le uh, left alone with mine. Man, I was really ho hoping to hang out out with Craig more today, but it seems like he's getting dragged to in every direction. It definitely wasn't like like this in the college. I feel like we might be a third wheeling here. Hmm. There's worse places to end the arcade to be left at your own own devices. You're right. Wanna drop some coin on, on pinball? You know it. Nan and I pull up to the machine that's feeling pretty hot. It's getting and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but pinball. I'm a pin. But the pinball a wizard within me will never die. I pull out the decent score and challenge Amanda to top mine. And I immediately immediately she gets a multi ball. Like that takes. Like, she looks like she takes after her father. You're pretty good. Don't patronize me. Hey, I'm just trying to pick a, a cop. Amanda shushes me, a, and she's in her end zone. She fights valiantly, racking up the points in the, by the million. And, and she, she is close to beating my score, but I feel honored just being able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? Jen earlier walks up and leans the pinball machine. Uh, we met in college together. We don't, don't lean. We don't lean. Please don't lean on things. Uh, uh, that that is so interesting. You know, he's like available. Honestly, I don't know if I could say. Sir, seriously, you're gonna make it it tilt because it's just. It seems like you're much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it would be at least it'd be great if he. Hmm. Lady, I swear to God, all of a sudden the buzzer sounds of the game is over and Janet made the pinball machine tilt. 
<laughs> you stone harpy. What? Dad. I said, I have to go... I have to go over there now and put a pizza in my mouth so I don't have to say anything that'll hurt your feelings. Amanda? Hey, hey. Bro, what's going on? Huh? Not huh? as your chance. If we don't, don't get out of here soon, we're going to be stuck here the rest of the night. I wrangle Amanda and stay... Eh, eh. Hey, some quick goodbyes with Craig, and we head out to the pizza place finally. Amanda pro promises that she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. Mm -hmm. Hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, to bro. Not at all, dude. It's good to finally get out, out, out to myself. Uh, you, know, you all to myself for a second. R River burps. Well, almost all to myself. <laughs> Hold up. Craig walks over to the truck. Uh, in his car, pulls out two gloves with a softball. Oh. Over some catch? This might be less catch or more throwing the ball at me running after it, but sure. We stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and we start tossing it back and forth. Huh? I have a cooler in my car you can grab. Gonna, um, there's only juice boxes in there. Man, fatherhood is strange. Hmm. You're telling me. I can't believe I'm looking back at the egg stand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those are some good times. I don't know anyone else who could pull off the rare hor horizontal keg stand. Hmm. It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't properly hung out with Craig in so long. I don't even know oh, where uh, to begin. Hmm. There's a lot of questions. Ask about the couch softball. Couching, coaching softball. Okay, so is coaching softball the life you wanted, or is that at the life you you would trust it upon you? Oh. Ha, huh, I admit it. I was hesitant at first. Blair and Hazel were so much energy, and we just had to get at them in the sports. But no one was there to run run the team. Uh, the more I did it, the more I saw how much I, I meant to all the girls. I'm worried that there'd be a riot if I quit. I would also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal bats. I don't know. I don't know. They're quick. They're quick, and they work as a team. I trick in them too well. They take you you down to a pack of velociraptors on a T-Rex. Exactly. Okay. Ask about the business. So you run a business now. Bro, yep. Bro. We sell fitness gear, imports and exports mostly, but we're coming up with our own line. Of a lot of sure gear soon. I nod. I mostly use my sweatpants to watch TV and, and not, you know, sweating. Sometimes, sounds like he'd make a, he'd make a killing. Hmm. I relate to my character so much. <laughs> I just realized how much my character really is like me. If you ever need athletic gear, I got your back. You can sponsor me. I'll re I can sponsor. You can sponsor me. I'll wrap your as gear, Brent, and while I am, oh, while I'm on my lawn, oh. that was a glamorous life lifestyle you were catering to. Yes. Uh, ask about the kids. He's getting hearts from all of this. I can't believe you're a father of three. Oh. Neither am I, can I. You know me. I'm an indecisive person. You switched your major er, four times. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, but I. But at raising kids, when Blair and Hazel were born, I finally made sense. It was like all, all this time I had spent in trying to figure out things to, uh, what led to them. I couldn't be happier about it. I don't think I ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. I had the exact same feeling when a man and was born. It was just the best thing to ever happen to me. It could only, it, it could be the only thing that ever, ever happened to me, and I would still be proud for the life I lived. Mm -hmm. It's nice to hear. Quiet. But, must be good to get away from the softball all moms for a bit, huh? I don't know. I don't Cri know. Cri Ice, Janet. Yeah, that was a lot. There was always... Are they always like that? Hmm. Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Yikes. Uh, uh... It's just... So, I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? Oh. Oh. Peace oh. and quiet. That's that's hot hot silence. Hey, hey. The my ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on Saturday. Mm -hmm. But more uh, seriously, 
I just can't get back to, into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. Oh. And I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a straight danger into my girls' lives. We've already bit into so much. I can't pull them through that. Buddy, I hear you. Oh. So my mom can so the moms can and hit on me all they want, but my girls are my top priority. Doing a great hit softball. Hit softball. Don't get okay. Huh. I'm gonna load this, because this is a choice thing that could lead to a different answer. Save. So I'm, I, I'm not gonna do the middle one, just in case. Okay, I'm gonna do each one, so... Because that one doesn't seem to do the trick, because usually I'm waiting for a color. I know this just looks like cheating, but... That's a better answer. Hmm. Hmm. Coming from you. I'm surprised. You know, I'm kind of worried about that baby on his chest. What if it's gonna get hit by the softball? I missed the softball and... Oh, it hits me right in the head. Wow, that hurts. Man, it was right all along. Hmm. Sorry, dude. Craig Woods over to me. Are you okay? Hmm. Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, let me go do a de at the ink for a second. Craig spends a moment exp examining my head. I, I... It's worse than I thought. Don't tell me you ha have to kiss it to make it better. Hey. Hey. You could... You, you would be so lucky. Oh, this is gonna be a loader. Save. I, I want this one. I feel like I've earned it er at this point. Wait, <laughs> all day I know you. Oh. Well... Craig leans in and kisses my forehead. Hmm. Walks off, cha walk it off, champ. Are the lights on the softball field real e hot, or is it just me? Yeah! We did it! We did it! We kissed Craig! <laughs> oh god, I, my throat's killing me. I get up and dust myself off. River yawns. Hmm. Hey, little buddy, you got out to get. You must be getting tired, huh? Nice. Nice. I hate to say it, but I should probably head out. Sorry things are so... Oh, you get older in life and you kind of get... It just kind of gets in the way, huh? We start walking back in the parking lot. Hey, remember that one house party we went and We got all broken up by a helicopter? Bro, bro. How can I forget? You and me hopped on over the concrete wall to get away. And on the other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops were parked. Oh, oh. oh man, yeah. We could imagine the look on their faces. We just walked straight past them like we were out of a stroll. And not knowing that, we were we were at a party. At the party, they started joking with us all about a big old bust it was. And we had to talk uh, uh, within like 30 minutes. You, you told them that you were interested in joining the academy. And they, they started giving me pointers for the exam. Longest 30 minutes of my life. Huh. Man, college. Good old days, right? We get back to our cars and Craig pulls me into a hug, or at least as much as he, he can manage with a baby between us. Never enough time, huh? Guess not. Let me make it up to you. Let's hang soon, eh? I'd like that. I yawn as I walk through the door and spotted Amanda hunched over her collage, glued stick to hand. Burning the midnight art oil. Yeah. Figured I might do some productive between eight episodes of Shark Hunter and Lip Ink Battles. Do you s do the Shark Lip Ink or do you Shark Hunter um or the Lip Sync? Okay. Eh? Yes. I look over to her or the call in her collage. Man, this is some good art. Looks like good, good art. art. <sighs> look at this good art you made. <laughs> Thanks. It's just uh, just about done. Like. Before, there, there's still a lot of dogs. In one corner is a giant pile of cash. In the other, it's... Is that me? Yep. The whole whole thing is about my goals in the future. And those are basically just... A, it's a giant pile of money. While 20 dogs also ha have... A strong, mutual, supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. Oh. Now you've done it. Get ready to watch your dad cry. Here it comes. It's happening. Aw, dad. You did this with your good art. <laughs> she pats me on the back. Mm -hmm. God, why do I feel like this is going to be me as a father? Oh, uh, hey, how was your uh, hang with Craig? I wipe a tear from my eye. It was good. Craig, uh, this Craig guy sure is busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. The softball isn't li uh, softball life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears today. How how does it feel? On top. Uh, it was, uh, t 
top of the world. Oh, Pops. Uh, I'm on top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. Oh, yeah? How about tomorrow we hit, hit some empty parking lot? Got some practice, dare I say, parallel parking? Yeah. Baby steps, Dad. I'll work my way up to it. All right, I'm going to hit that way. Hey, I'm going to hit the hay. Take care of the late night television for me, all right? I'll let you know how... Uh, oh, oh. I'll let you know... Oh, you say it, hey. Ah, uh, I can't read, guys. Sorry, I'm having trouble. Oh, man, I'm already 40 minutes in. Oh, God. Wow, that was an, that was an amazing day. Oh, yes. S rank. I love getting those. Anyway, click continue. God, I love that one. Welcome. You got that. So there's only one left I haven't dated yet, and that's Brian. And we're going to do him now. So, hey, I'm Brian. I spend most of my days hanging with the. Uh, fuck, I can't read all this. He hangs out with his daughter. He's all about grilling and fishing. And we'll get a lo you'll get along if you like the same things. I'm, I'm going to basically give the gist. He likes to find a house, slowly cook a brisket. He would bring a fishing pole to an island. Uh, what is this? Understands a key understanding of estate cuts and... And what do you want to be when you grow up? A fireman? What's your favorite movie genre? Romantic comedies? That's also one of my favorites. Um, uh, what's your ideal date deck building? Deck build. Oh! What do you, uh... Ever leave a home without? A portable fishing pole? My portable fishing pole? Man, he's like the cliche dad. I spend a lot of time thinking about how my daughter is smarter than I am. I just noticed that these are clickable. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, am I allowed to go back to those dates? Okay, anyway, close. Uh, back. Matt. Uh... No, close, close, close. I had to go look at those, because I just noticed those were, those were, they move when you put your mouse over them. And I had to mess, anyway, let's message, uh, message the dad. Let's message Brian. Apparently there's a bad ending to these, and I didn't know that. So. Man, I don't know how to feel about hanging out with Brian more. I mean, it seems like Daisy and Amanda got along pretty well. Maybe I could go. I should just bite my bite the bullet and hang out with Brian more for the sake for the kids. Hmm. We do know Brian is competitive, so we gotta work around that angle. I crack my knuckles and start typing. Hey Brian, great gra having some burgers with you at the cookout yesterday. You should uh, get. Uh, I'm sorry, we should uh, get our kids together and hang out soon. I wait for a couple minutes, and ding, comes into my computer, and the message pops up. It's Brian. Let's see what he has to say. If it's on all cap. Okay. Hey, man, always love a good burg. I don't understand who pronounces it like that. Or with the butt uddy, but we should definitely hang out. What do you think about mini golf? We could bring the girls and have ourselves a little, little friendly competition. Rock on, Brian. And I knew it! Yeah, I knew it. He'd be competitive. He could be competitive. 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 What is with competitive Z? I, I, that's not even a word, I think. I don't know. <sighs> he signed his name. That's cute. Friendly competition. This is perfect. I know Amanda and I will crush Brian in mini golf. We've been taking our mini golf courses since she was a little kid. And I'm proud to say, excuse me, she's almost better than I am. Almost. I'm going to type back. That sounds great, man. N aim the top. I'm in place. We'll be there. Hey Amanda. Hey, hey Amanda, would you be up to some mini golf with Brian and Daisy? I'm a little out of practice, but I know oh, my backswing is something to be desired. But I think I can keep it in the negatives. Perfect. Come on, kiddo, let's do this. Also, guys, you guys want to see me play some mini golf games? I haven't really played any, but I can't play golf with friends because I don't have any people to play with me on these things. You ready for this? Yes. Arr, matey! I'll always be ready! I'll be ready as I ever be! Why are you talking like that? Because this mini golf course is a pirate theme. I now realize that's the I, I indeed standing on top of the giant pirate ship up in the middle of a putt-putt course. Oh. 
Come on, um, pirate dad, what you talk like pirates with me? Arr, ahoy, um, scurvy! Avashi! I'll make Brian and Daisy walk the plank for their superior golfing abilities. I mean, uh, d doubloon. Mm. Come on, Dad, you told me this was, was just gonna be some friendly competition. Friendly competition is a dad for actual competition. I mean to prepare air my body, mind, and soul to defeat Brian in the, in the glorious battle. Mm. It's just mini golf. Just mini golf? This is so much more than that! He wants to get in his pants, that's the answer. I kneel down and place my hand on, on Amanda's shoulder. I just want you to know that there's no pressure. No big deal, don't worry about it too much. But we ha have to beat Brian at the Golf. What ha happened to having fun? <laughs> just having fun. Oh, we will have fun. When we beat them. Then it gives me a side eye, but before I can, can side my eye, I can side eye her back, spot Brian and Daisy. Ahoy there, mateys! Ahoy! Brian walks up to Daisy in tow. Oh, um, it looks like they already uh, entered us um, golf clubs for the mini golf excursion. I t a total power move. Why I didn't I think of that? Hey. All right, first mate. I hear uh, your buried treasures, the uh, walkers. You gotta help the pl me uh, plunder it. Oh, Amanda, I don't think this is a real pirate ship. I think it's just a play putt, putt one. Aww. Amanda gives Daisy a look. Oh. I mean, hi hi, Captain. Daisy winks at Amanda. Oh, oh look at those two. I can I already see that she doesn't get things. She's basically the Drax of this situation. Alright, uh, if any of you get that reference. Um, uh, there are two peas in a pod. So, you excited to get some mini golf in? Oh, you know it. You're get you a gambling man? Uh, I'm gonna save real quick, just in case. Uh, okay, this saving function really helps. Um, I know when to hold him. Yes, got it. I know when to hold, and I know when to fold. I know I know when to uh shoot. I guess pretty much all I know how to do. <laughs> how about a loser buys drinks tonight? All right, how about we make it a bit more interesting? I'm listening. Loser has to mow the w winner's lawn for this weekend. Well, my yard's pretty big. Are you prepared to take that on? You should be really more concerned of how you're gonna maneuver around my hedges. It's definitely a e technical work, not for the fate of your harm. I don't think I need to worry about that. I'm very good at mini golf, you know. Oh yeah, hole in one every time. What I I said not true, not a true thing, but I already came out of my mouth, so I have to stand by it. Um, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that happen. Brian and I, I, I eat each other, other up and down. May the best dad win. Brian and I shake hands and lock eyes, and I'm about to go down. Just what? Trust no one. I love that these things. Just trust no one. Golf. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. No. No, wait! You've lost your ball. No! I'm getting cocky. I messed up. I'm gonna load. I'm gonna load, though. I'm gonna load. I'm gonna load it. I'm gonna load it. I don't care. Memes time. I'm gonna load. I'm gonna get a hole in one every one of those. I will. I'll do it. Yeah, we're gonna do this, right. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do this, right? Yes! 
Yes. To the bride. Yes. To the bride. No! Uh, it's gonna be a while, guys. I just feel it. You've lost, you've lost your ball. To the, to the bride. I keep forgetting there's that thing right there. You've lost, you've lost your ball. Why? It's right there. You've lost your ball. I'm getting better. I have to keep going. I have to. I will win. Load. I will win. I will. I will win. What? No! You've lost your ball. Okay, this is gonna be my last attempt. If I don't get it, fuck it. I can't keep this up. So I have to. I don't care if I lose at this point. Sorry, hold on. I gotta see what that is. Here we go. Got it. Fuck. How does anyone do this? Seriously! What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wait! Hey! Got that one. Got it. Hold on. Got it! Final hole. And of course. It fucks me in the ass, of course. Just hurry up, hurry up. I just can't take this anymore. Oh god, this is why I really do not uh, like sports. Oh, and then it pulls me aside while Brian and Daisy start wa- uh, Into the next hole. Mm. I just asked because your, your eye is twitching. No, it's not. I feel like your left eye, eye twitch. Amanda raises her eyebrow. Mm -hmm. We're out to ha have fun. Remember, just a game. You're right. It's just a game. Game extremely high stakes. Game currently winning. Hmm. Dad, please nail the next hole for me. We'll keep you to streak. Oh. This is finally important for you, sure. Amanda walks over and leans into the particularly hard windmill hole. Gripping her glove club, she ends up in. Touches the ball in the parking lot. She looks at me right in the eye and does an exaggerated shrug. Huh? Whoops. I disagree with your, her, her actions. I appreciate her act of youthful dis defiance. She walks over and pats me on the back. That was for uh, your own good. Love you, kiddo. I was gonna lose either way, wasn't I? Oh! There's more? Oh, okay. Wait, I fucked it up. This is new. That was unexpected. Which one's the real hole? Well, fuck me in the ass. Ah! No one was gonna win this, were they? Okay, I try to maintain my air professionalism because there was children present, but the confetti cannons are going off, and the brain somehow I was flashing the eighth around it. Don't enter me in the words "best dad" and eyes on it. Man, that was some good shooting there, Powder. Ah, uh, okay, let's load this answer here. Save for this. We're gonna start loading for this answer. Okay. Yes, it worked. Okay. You're yeah. shooting between us. Uh, sorry, I skipped some dialogue. Uh, Air Asia, Asia, have a good time. Yo ho ho! I did. I haven't even found a airy treasure yet. I think we'd have need to apply a permit to dig around here. Oh. I can take Daisy home so we can get a city paperwork started and digging. You, you, you two start enjoying your night. Right. Sounds like a plan, Pat Utter. You cool with that? Sure, just doing yourself into too much trouble. Yeah. Come on, can do. I'll make sure to get a perfectly reasonable amount out of trouble. Amanda and AZ skip yelling and yelling about buried treasure. Bless that kid's tiny rebellious heart. Ah. Well, guess you should hit, hit the bar now. Sure. There's actually a tiki bar uh, attached to this place. How, how about that? That sounds like a sounds like a plan. I almost said pain for some reason. Brian, I walk into a free, walk into the freaky tiki. Talk, speaking of freaky, <laughs> and um, a a, a Christie Island theme bar, a Kritzky uh, Island theme bar. Palm trees on the walls. Several fake parrots scrolling about. Ukulele music playing softly in the background. Brian and I approach the bamboo bar. I just realized this is actually the little, literally the same fucking bar from the beginning. Guess I'm spending more time with Brian, which is a little more debatable since I won. Oh, okay, I got, just got out to get my victory drink and get out of here. 
I think I already proved my superior dadness for the day. Ah. Two. Pineapples of hospitality, please. Virginia Whitman's website uh, us two um drinks inside a hollowed out pineapples. He set at their on fire and we ha have to blow out before we can drink them. Usually I just like to, I don't know, drink my drinks. Ah. If you don't want yours, I'll take it. I miss out on the tasty victory? I don't think so. I take a sip of my pineapple hospitality victory taste free. Let's get it at the long about talk about lawn mains. I'm peculiar. No electric mowers for me. I hand cut everything with scissors. Also, I only water my lawn with bottled sparkling water. I just can't run, run, run so, uh, I'm just so uh, uh, I can just run and so um, but you can have a lot of import some Italian and, and preferred I'd settle for them. <laughs> okay no it's exaggerating it's sweet that you're willing to put all that work into your care air of your dead grass what my grass is perfectly healthy uh. it's okay buddy I know you just that's tricks it, 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 it that's perfect back up. <laughs> It's only my work of magic. I'll finish trimming your grass with your th tiniest pair of scissors I own. Man, even when he's trying to be helpful, I, I feel personally attacked. These people are literally competing to be the better dad. Well, I sit more of my drink and I notice the TV in the corner while Extreme Makeover de Deck Edition is on. I love this show. Oh, always ma made me want my own deck. Huh, I hate this show. Why? It's real. It's clearly fake. Oh well, yeah, it's real. Well, yeah, it's always reality TV. Who cares? I care. I'm a general contract actor. I work at decks all the time. There's no way they've renovated those decks in a matter of two days. It's impossible. There's. It's a. Th it's a three week job minimum. So you want them to cover those three weeks ex extensively in every episode? But it, it can't be interesting to watch a bunch of dudes slave over a deck that long. Nobody would watch it. Aww. I don't like any of these home improvement shows. I want to watch stuff that's real. Like Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Truck. <laughs> I have terrible news for you about him. No. No, not them too. <laughs> that's the awful truth. Good. Not ghosts though. Those are real. Trucks, I don't have an energy escape button. Don't have emergency escape buttons. I've been lied to for so long. Oh god. Sorry if I sound a little off. I have a sore in my mouth. I've been chewing on my cheek in my sleep again. We both chuckle and sip on our pine apples. So wait, you're a general contractor? Uh -huh. Sure am. I actually hope I can plan a Kuda sock we live in. Uh, wow, nice work. Uh -huh. Yeah, I kind of uh, took after my footsteps of my old man. He was a general contractor too? The best. He practically built half of this town with his bare hands. It's weird how you spent half your life trying not to become your father, and you wake up one day and there you are. But I get it to work in my hands, and it pays more than enough to take care of my daughter, so it's an absolute dream job for me, at least. Hmm, that's impressive. Building stuff is, has always been a weak point as a dad. I've been, and I've been okay with that until now. Now I must defeat him. I will go to a p- I'll, I'll do that patio furniture that I ha haven't been put together. It's still sitting in the garage. <laughs> okay, maybe I could- sh I should cool it with the dad competition. Gotta keep it tight. Keep it light. Tell him one of your classy jokes. Ask about your daughter. Stare him down. I'm blinking. Ask about a daughter. Yes! I knew it worked. So, Daisy seems pretty smart for her age. Yeah, she's a genius. She definitely doesn't get it from her dad. Her old man, though. Hey. Actually, quite embarrassing. She beats me at Scrabble constantly. To be fair, Scrabble is really hard. I can barely make a good word when I have the whole alphabet in front of me, let, let alone seven letters. Uh -huh. Brian laughs. Oh. See? You can keep things friendly there, and it's per perfectly pleasant. I could do this all the time. Because I feel oh, an it need to impress Brian and prove I'm better than him, obviously. What is with this? What is with dad's doing that? I don't, like, that's, uh, the, that's the only reason. I think, let's keep it moving. Compliment his beard. I'm gonna save. Uh, compliment his beard. Yes! Okay. Uh, your beard is nice. It looks very healthy. <laughs> Thanks, I grew it myself. Yeah, you're not allowed uh, to, to dad joke another day. 
This is how our daughters feel all the time. I'm upset. <laughs> Hi, I'm upset. I'm dead. No! <laughs> oh. I mean, you walked right into that one. That's Dad Joke 101. Listen, buddy. I took Dad Joke 101 years ago. I'm level four, I'm 400 levels cl I'm in a 400 level class of well on my own to the degree of fart humor. Yeah. Wow, Amanda must be so proud. She is not. Look around the room and take all the Gishi decor. Look at something else to comment on. There's a gigantic fish hanging up above Brian. I, I adjusted to it. Cool fish. It's definitely fake. Oh, uh, uh, really? Uh. Well, <laughs> everything in here is fake. The palm tree is over there, and it's just a ficus and it's co coconut uh, glued to it. Over there, I look over. He's uh. right. But I almost caught at something that. In the, like this ish once. Mine was bigger though. Of course it was. Oh really? Yep. I went to the trip to Hawaii maybe a decade ago. We go out there to sea in three days, catching fish, drinking beer. You know, guy stuff. We had a lot of po aid on the boat so we could ear the fish. I right? Eight after we caught it. Looking at a little bit of salt and lemon and on there. Oh man, that was some of the best fish I've ever had. That actually sounds amazing. Aww. That was. Well, it was the last day. Hey, everyone has gone on to bed already, and I was out there watching the stars, had my line on or two, and then all of a sudden, it just starts running. So I jump on the reel before I, it gets ripped from the odd rack and start fighting with the damn thing. I'm out there maybe an hour. Can't call all, all the, my shipmates. It's just man, man against nature. Finally, I'm starting to tucker the guy out. I get in him up at the surface and finally get the side of it. The biggest mar marlin I've ever seen. Uh, Hemingway Esquay, I get it onto the boat single-handedly. Uh. And now, and you know what happens next. What happens next? Uh. The damn thing smacks me in the face with its tail, knocks me out, and I wake up next morning on the deck. The fish is gone, never felt dumber. So is it, so it got away. I think it's another version of me that would have spent the rest of my life trying to catch the fish, Captain Ahab style. Death! Tell Moby Dick! I had to think of that. I'm sure Daisy would be supportive. <laughs> oh man, fishing is is the life. Haven't gone enough uh, lately. You go fishing? Actually, I confession to make. Wait, is it? What am I? What am I doing? Why? I will urge the. O o o to be a vulnerable. I have an impeccable urge to be vulnerable to them. I can't tell him that I'm terrible at fishing. I mean, I lean in close. I'm gonna load save here. So, I am amazing at fishing. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Come on, it'll be a blast. I sigh. I I've been cornered. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Brian gives me an exaggerated high five. Hey. Yes, maybe we can share. No, I want to load just in case. See all the answers first. If they all come to the same conclusion, it won't matter. So, load. I am the. Okay, that's one. But we're gonna see the others first. That one might be the one we lead into. So, uh, load. I am the best at fishing. Okay, nope. We're going. Uh, going with the third one. Okay. Pro at fishing. I want to go. Uh, okay, I've, uh, uh, I've been cornered, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Brian gives me an exaggerated high five. Yes, maybe we'll have to go catch some of most fish, and I get to, you get to mow my lawn. You can try, you can try to beat me, but there's, don't call me pop, uh, good at catching fish, milk for nothing. I am spinning whatever wise, and I feel, you know, the will to a consume me. Oh. Sounds like it'll be a scrap. Brian and I finish our drinks and head outside. Till next time, kiss my bass, Brian. I'm real excited. Um, I'm gonna save here with each answer. Kiss my. Yes! Catch it for a fish. I think you're killing over oh, these puns, powdered. Mull it over. I'm, I'm gonna rent on the fish real eight of dad jokes in no time. Brian extends his hand and gives me a friendly but firm handshake. I can see that competitive fire in his eyes. This is gonna be a whole thing, isn't it? Uh, uh. Brian, I am to aches over babysitting duties. I'm 
Amanda walks on with me. She immediately plops down on the couch and flips on the TV. So how was your hang of Brian? It wasn't too spicy with his cr crushing defeat, was he? Did you mean salty? Nah, I'm pretty gr gracious about it. Like, frustratingly gracious. Yeah, how dare that guy have be, have some t decency? Come on, Dad. He seems like the next dude. Nice dude. I think so. I don't know. The guy loves a good competition. But then again, apparently so do I. What did you and Daisy end up doing? Oh, we hunted for treasure for a bit. Well, Daisy is really a a a adamant about uh, not digging without a permit. So we just watched some uh, documentary about theoretical physics. I put her to bed and then I sat around eating Brian's food. Don't tell him I said that. That's standard babysitting protocol, I believe. I... I really like hanging out with Daisy. She's super mature for her age. Yeah, Brian says she has a hard time relating to other kids. She kind of reminds me of you at her age. Although she doesn't bite people as much as you did. I can't believe I finally... I'm finally the cool kid. Cool older kid. Feels good. I'm gonna hang with Brian again. Are you gonna hang with Brian again? The thing is, he wanted to go fishing with me. Hey, hey. Oh. I told him I was an amazing fisherman. Hmm. You hate fishing. Which is true. I really don't normally like fishing, but lately I've been wanting to go fish. I don't know why. Maybe because I've grown older, I don't know. Uh, I actually want to go fishing with my dad sometime. I know, but I'm kind of... I'm kind of I know, I'm kind of panicking. Oh. I'm sure it'll be fine. And all you have to do is wake up and crack of dawn and sit silently in a boat and take it a few hours and for no hours end and pro and with no promise of tangible reward, you uh, only co companion will be a fe be the fear and doubt you harbor deep in your heart. <laughs> Fishing's fun. You'll uh, remind yourself of the world's darkness around you and you wonder if it's re really you staring back at yourself in the lake's reflection and simply us to the abyss. Yeah, laugh it up, Amanda. You're coming with us. Huh. Is it constitutional right to o outright it refuse this order? Daisy's coming too. Well, hmm. I bet he can convince Ben to bring his dog. Fine, sold. I'm in. All right, I'm I'm bushed. Got a cold and I don't stay up too late. Okay, you got it, pops. And that was the end of that date. So let's see what we rate. I hope I'm probably gonna get an A. At minimum, A at most. Oh, I got an S! I didn't expect that! I've seen one. Bear hugs. Yo ho ho. I like how this is what his things are. His The stats are. Like, how are you supposed to compete with all those stats? But, now that we've got all... Everyone at least one date, we can start going on the second date! We can't do Robert yet. As much as I want to do Robert's, we gotta do the rest. Because we already did a second date with Robert. And we're gonna go ahead and go on... On... I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here because I've been on way too long. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome episode of Dream Daddy. And I hope you, you all, I hope you all you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Because this game was pretty, uh, a rather, uh, unique episode. And we got a kiss from Greg. We beat Brian. Let's see. We, uh, all these dates were awesome. One thing I don't understand is how to get Robert's attention. I wonder. Could I go back to his old dates? I guess not. Close. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome episode of Dream Daddy. And I'll catch you guys later. And stay dirty, my friends. Bye!